Hey everyone, so today we're going to learn how to make coquito, which is a tropical nog enjoyed by many uh, during the holiday season. And in my opinion, coquito is better than eggnog uh, just because, right? Um, it's coconut based and I make mine vegan, vegano. So that means that it is free of animal products, uh, which is beneficial to me as someone who is plant based. But anyways, without further ado, let's get started. So these are the ingredients that you'll need to make your coquito. So here on the side here, we have nutmeg, we have allspice, we have whole cloves, and we have cinnamon sticks. And that's going to create our te or tea. And then here on the side, we have vanilla extract. Um, my preference is to use vanilla paste instead of extract. It just kicks your recipe up a notch, but of course we use what we got, right? And then here we have coconut milk and cream of coconut. I have um, no preference for this coconut milk. It just happens to be what was at the store. In terms of cream of coconut, my preference is for Coco Lopez, but Coco Goya will do the same job and then lastly you see that big container of soy milk um, i use soy milk you know as a non-dairy option uh, traditionally coquito calls for condensed milk and, co and evaporated milk both of those are traditionally dairy based so i don't use them i have learned that they do make coconut based evaporated and condensed milk However, I'm too cheap and not interested in looking for it. So my recipe works uh, for what I'm doing. You can also use sweetened soy milk as well. Uh, folks tend to like things a little sweeter. However, this just happens to be what I have in my cabinet. So these are some tools that you might need in making your coquito. We have a measuring cup. You're gonna need that to measure out your water for the day. It may use it as a pour, right, because it has a spout. You also have a can opener. My coconut milk and cream of coconut have self-open cans, but maybe you don't, so you might need a can opener. We have a whisk to whisk our ingredients together, a spoon to help ladle our coquito once we make it. That nifty little blue thing is a funnel made for jars, and it's super helpful. I suggest you get one. If you don't already have one, you have some mason jars in the back from some old pasta sauce that I bought, right? I like to keep those on hand for situations like these, right? So that I can put my coquito in there and chill them before I enjoy them. And then underneath everything here, we have some cheesecloth. Um, you can use the cheesecloth along with a strainer to strain out your day. You're also going to need a teaspoon, a tablespoon, and a cup, um, measuring cup. I'm a big cheater, so I use the tablespoon to just break it up. And then this knife we use to scoop out the coconut um, material out of the can. And then we also have two pots here. You're going to want to, one pot to create your te and another pot to blend your coquito so the first thing i want to do is make that stop moving okay it's not gonna happen anyways the first thing we're gonna do is turn our heat on for the day a little gas stove here right so we set that like that get that nice and warm and then we move over to our ingredients to get that ready all right so here i have a cup of water and pour that in there and then we're going to grab our day ingredients all right so what we're going to want to do is take our ingredients our allspice nutmeg clove and cinnamon and boil them a light boil in the water uh, so that the spices can permeate into the water here so i can't do that one-handed i'm going to do that really quick and then show y'all um, and share with you all the ingredients or the amounts of the ingredients I'm using. Are they starting? Um, in there we have a teaspoon each 
of clove, nutmeg, and allspice, and then three cinnamon sticks. You could use ground cinnamon if you wanted. Uh, my preference is to do whole everything. So I did have whole cloves and whole cinnamon. Um, unfortunately, nutmeg and allspice were only available ground for me. Um, it's easier if it is whole so that you can strain it better. However, I don't think it really affects things if you have uh, a little bit of the ground stuff mixed in with your coquito. Some people like it that way. But anyway, so we're gonna have we're gonna lower that to a simmer and let that melt together, and then we're going to work on the coquito part. All right, so now we turned the stove or the um, stove on to about a two or three, right? So that we can blend our coconut milk, coconut cream, and vanilla and soy milk. When you open the cream of coconut, it's gonna be kind of coagulated on the top here, which is exactly why I like to blend everything warm. You'll probably find some recipes where everyone throws everything in the blender and I just like doing it this way. I feel like things blend together a little better. So you're gonna need a knife or spoon or something to kick that goopy stuff out. So this is what the coconut cream is gonna look like or the cream of coconut when you pour it out. You see that big clump of, I guess, coconut meat and then all the milk and the sweet stuff there. So now we're adding the coconut and you see here it kind of has that same goopy. We like the goopy, we just need to scoop it out. All right, so I know I know this looks super appetizing, but it will look delicious in a second. So we're gonna heat this up and you wanna take your whisk and whisk and break some of that down so that you have something a little more consistent as things warm up and loosen up. La di 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 da 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 di 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 da mix 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 mix. So now we have a cup of soy milk. I guess you can use um, this measuring cup or this one. But once we have the one cup, then we can go ahead and add the vanilla extract. We just put it. Ooh, that was loud. We can put that in here and then transfer that into the big pot or you can put this into the big pot and then put that into the big pot just you know whatever tickles your fancy so we see here this is our coconut milk cream of coconut it's boiling so we could turn that down just a little bit but you see those chunks have gone away get a little whiskey poo you also start feeling some viscosity here that's from that coconut fat just take that down like that beautiful all right now here we have the cup of soy milk with a tablespoon and a half of vanilla extract i put a lot of vanilla because i like vanilla if i had vanilla paste i could probably get away with just a tablespoon of the paste but since it's extract i added a little more then we're going to go ahead and add that I see in there and then give it a whiskey and then let that continue to blend for maybe another five minutes I'd say it took me what five to ten minutes to get the cream of coconut and the coconut milk to melt down so now we just want to blend that soy milk and vanilla in there and then over here yeah, about this it's been boiling kind of hard doesn't need to be that hard and this is another one that you could maybe simmer for about 10 minutes but what we're going to do now is take the this strain it out and then put it with the bigger pot so i suggest that you keep your cinnamon bark because i like to put them in the coconut jar to give it a little extra cinnamon flavor and so, you know, why get new ones if we have those already? So this reduced down to about a half a cup, a little less than a half a cup if you count the cinnamon sticks in there. But now what I want to do is not directly pour it in there because we have, you know, the grit and stuff from the day. 
what you can do is take a strainer and some cheesecloth and, um, you know, strain it that way. What you can also do is use your media and use that to make your coffee. I don't mind a slight coffee taste to my coquito or a slight cinnamon taste to my coffee, so I'm going to use my media. And I'm going to show you that in just a second while I film and do this with one hand each. So this is a media or a coffee sock or tea sock. I think this specific one might be a Thai one and it's humongous. I've never had one this big, but go eBay or Amazon, whomever. But so yeah, so we're gonna strain that out. I can give it a good squeeze and get the rest of the goodies um, out of there and then proceed to the next step. So now we got the spices mixed in with the coquito. See now it has kind of a almost skin tone uh, color to it. Um, that's the optimal color that you want. Um, at this point, if you wanted to add more cinnamon, you could add ground cinnamon if you wanted. Some people like that because it changes the color a little bit and of course makes it a little more cinnamony. If you wanted to add rum, uh, to your coquito, I would do so at this stage. Um, some people do a mix of dark rum and white rum. Um, some just pick one or the other. Um, what I've been doing is just using a spiced rum or, you know, aged rum and then adding maybe three quarter cup to a cup. Um, just depending on how the flavors are, of course, if you use more sweetened things, you may be able to get away with more rum in there um, so that it's not as pungent. Uh, you could go, I guess, as far as two cups of rum if you were really feeling froggy. But this batch is going to be a virgin batch, so I'm not going to add any rum. So now what I'm going to do is start preparing it for fridge storage. So you see here, I have my mason jar. I added those three cinnamon sticks in there and then this handy dandy um, funnel. It was less than five bucks and definitely worth it. But anyway, so we're gonna go in here, give it a stir with our ladle and then we can go ahead and start putting that in there like that. And then we're just gonna keep doing that until the jar is full. And so here we have a full mason jar of the coquito. See that cinnamon stick peeping? I love that. Anyway, so we're gonna seal this bad boy up and then stick it in the fridge. So this will thicken up. You see right now it's a little watery. It will thicken up a little bit uh, when you put it in the refrigerator. Uh, folks have their own preferences on lighter or thinner coquito. I have had a uh, coquito that was so thick it was almost gelatinous or like flan almost. It's a real pain to get it out of the jar that way um, or into the glass. Um, we could show the consistency um, maybe if I make a subsequent video. Um, you know, it'll take you a good six to eight hours of uh, chilling before it gets to that optimal spot. So I won't be able to film that for you today. But anyways, you know, the longer you set this in the fridge, the longer the spices and flavors are going to blend together. So I think the longer you keep it in the fridge, the better. But um, putting it in the fridge would be the last step or second to last step if you include enjoying it. So thank you so much for everybody. Uh, thank you everybody for hanging out with me as we make vegan coquito. So that was fun. Uh, try out the recipe and let me know what you think. Share a video or some photos if you got them. I would love to see your work.